All right, so this is gonna be a video about finding the area between curves. In this case, I have this blue curve right here and then this red line, and I'm trying to find, this problem is trying to find the area between these two and then bounded by the following down here. So we have f of x, we have this blue function right here. f of x is the x squared plus two. The g of x is just this x right here, so g of x equals x, and then it's bounded by x equals zero, so that's just basically this line right here, the y-axis, and then x equals one right here. So it's, it's, it's represented basically by this green shaded part right here. So we're trying to find the area of that green shaded part. Now to do that, we're going to be using this equation that was discussed in the previous video. So if you haven't seen that video to show where this, this equation comes from, you're going to want to check that out. But you have this equation that looks like this, and basically it's the integral from a to b, in this case it's going to be from zero to one here, because we're trying to find the the area from 0 to 1. It's bounded left and right by x equals 0 and x equals 1. So we're going to integrate from 0 to 1 and then f of x always has to be that function that's on the top of that interval. So in this case the blue which happens to be f of x is on top of this green region right here. So you're going to want to use that function at the top up here for this f of x. The g of x is going to be that bottom part. And then you're going to subtract the two. So we're going to set the, basically set this problem up based on our given down here. From the a to b is going to be from 0 to 1. So I'm going to put the integral symbol from 0 to 1. f of x, I'm just going to fill in this f of x right here. Substitute it in. We have x squared plus 2 minus the g of x, which is x, so I'm going to put that over here, and you end up with something like this. Okay, the next step would be to take the antiderivative, just like normal. So the x squared will be x cubed over 3, plus the antiderivative of 2 is 2x, two minus the antiderivative of x is going to be x squared over 2, and then we're integrating this from 0 to 1. So this means we're going to plug a 1 in to this, and whatever that value is, we're going to subtract it from when we plug 0 in to the same equation. So I'm going to plug the 1 in here. You'll end up with 1 cubed over 3 plus 2 times 1 minus 1 squared over 2 for that first part. And then we're going to subtract when 0 is plugged in, well, if you plug in 0 here, you'll get 0 cubed over 3, which is 0, plus 2 times 0, which is 0, minus 0 squared over 2, which is 0. So really, this ends up just being 0 over here that we're subtracting. And then we're just going to do some math here. This ends up coming out to be 11 sixths. So the area of this green region right here would be 11 sixths based on using this equation up here. So this is a video on uh, the area between two curves. If you have any questions about anything in this video, let me know.